that's right. Well, hello there, and welcome to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB into your TV. It's going to be the quickest episode of Glen ZB TV ever today because I do not want to be still in this building when uh, the shakeout happens. Uh, I've got some instructions on how to get out of the shakeout. I, th I was going to film this underneath the desk, but then I saw Tamati Coffee doing more or less the same thing on breakfast this morning, and he looked like an idiot. So um, I look enough like an idiot as it is without putting myself through that. Anyway, here are the instructions on how to get out of the New Zealand shakeout. First, drop everything you're doing. Um, I mean, it's it's nearly five past nine now. Uh, so you know, listen, listen, drop it, drop it now. Um, come up with a good cover story uh, as to why you need to leave the building. Like, uh, coffee, anyone? I'll go. I'm just going for coffee. That's a good one. Um, and then. Uh, hold something to verify that that is what you did while you're out of the building when you get back about probably 20 minutes later So about 946 it's happening at 20, uh, 9 20, 26 So yeah, about 946 come back holding cups of coffee uh, You'll be sweet. Nobody will even question why you weren't there holding on to the leg of your desk. Right, moving right along very quickly because as I say it's nearly five past nine, more job losses. This is disturbing, isn't it? Because uh, we've got news this morning that the National Bank may be about to be no more. Because uh, the ANZ and the National Bank, they're all owned by the same people. They're basically doing the same thing. They don't need both brands. Uh, and of course this could mean more more job losses. Um, this guy could be out of work. Uh, so that's that's an ish. I feel so, I don't know how you know what his skill base is. Uh, what other things he's qualified to do other than just running around on, on bank ads. And of course, um, niche uh, furniture makers. Uh, uh, they, they could be out of work. Uh, people who specialize in green couches. Um, yeah, they could, be, they could be out the door. So, because nobody actually really wants a green couch except the National Bank. So, yeah, I feel sorry for them. I'm also worried about Bill English. Is he just going a little bit Alzheimer's-y? Because uh, the other week when the when the gay marriage bill came up, he couldn't remember. He was one of the many people who couldn't remember which way he'd voted on the on the civil union bill, even though that was like one of the most controversial bills of our time. And then uh, now he can't remember whether or not he signed uh, the permission for for the GCSB to secretly record Kim.com's phone conversations. So. Oh yeah, I'm just a bit worried. This guy is like the second in charge of our entire country, and he can't seem to remember anything. Is that a problem? Uh, or does that not matter so much? I just want to keep an eye on that. Alright, we've got the ABs leaving a path of destruction in Argentina because uh, they had a, they had their first training session at a gym in Argentina and look at this now, guys afterwards are having to clean up um, after them because they've made a... I mean look at look what they did to the wall there. Look at what's, what's that about? And then um, this is what they did to the gear. They've made it look like it's like 30 years old. The gear and the, they've flattened a rugby ball there. I mean, these guys need to have a little bit more respect. I mean, here's one of them in action, wrecking the place. You can see what he's just done to that, what he's done to the wall. Made a hole in the wall. I don't know how those stains got in there. I don't even want to think about that. ABs, I know, you know, what goes on tour stays on tour, but seriously, uh, these guys are your hosts. Can you please treat their, their awesome gym with a little bit more respect? And we'd like to finish with the uh, iOS. What the? Uh, because apparently if you've downloaded, you quickly, you're one of the, the, the uber nerds who quickly, as soon as possible, downloaded iOS 6 onto your, your iPhone, your iPad, your i whatever. Turns out the maps totally suck. Uh, because they say things like Bondi Beach is in Cornwall Park, which is, while it's handy, not strictly uh, accurate, accurate, and also the, uh, the trains will be leaving from out in the harbour. Which again, uh, I think Liam Brown has some crazy dream of underwater trains one day, but it ain't today, Apple. You're just thinking a little bit too far ahead of your time there for those maps to be accurate. That was Glen ZB. I've got to get out of the building uh, before the shakeout starts because I don't want to be here when that shit happens. Uh, thank you for having me in your tally.